a very good morning children as you all know in your english book chapter 3 brief bubbly is going on so today we do some more exercise related to this chapter first we read sentence 1 read the following first one is bubbly is a brave girl she saved six children from drowning she won a bravery award second one is saint francis was a kind man he helped everyone he was known for his kindness here the word bravery and kindness are abstract noun they are the name of quality feelings thoughts and idea we can not hear touch or see them they are ideas in our mind so students today we are going to learn about abstract noun what is abstract noun in this paragraph you read two words bravery and kindness these are the special words can you tell what make them special the word brave bravery refer to things that we think or feel same as the word kindness refer to things that we think or feel these words tell us about things we cannot be seen cannot be touched and we cannot be heard and we cannot be tasted and also we cannot be smelled so these words are only we feel or think in our mind so let's read again bubbly is a brave girl she saved six children from drowning she won a bravery award so here the word bravery refer to think that we think or feel then second one is saint francis was a kind man he helped everyone he was known for his kindness to so kindness kindness word is refer to think that we think or feel so bravery and kindness both are the example of abstract noun we cannot hear touch or see these words so these are the example of abstract noun so abstract noun that describe a feeling or thought as you see in this picture we can not see this word we can not heard we can not smell we can not taste it and we can not touch it so these are called abstract noun now i give you one exercise related to abstract noun in this exercise you underline the abstract noun in the following sentences you have given some sentences and you just underline the abstract noun in these sentences first one is we should show kindness to animal not cruelty so here you underline the abstract noun second one is everyone admire meena for her beauty so in this sentence where is abstract noun you just underline that word then third one is children should have a the quality of politeness and truth, truthfulness so you underline 
the abstract noun words which are used in these sentence now fourth one is the indian soldier fought the war with great courage fourth one is the indian soldier fought the war with great courage so you write down you underline the abstract noun used in this sentence then fifth one is the teacher said write down the length and breadth depth of this table then sixth one is dev ram lived in a village in his boyhood so student in these sentences you underline the word which is abstract noun and you do this exercise and send it to me i hope you all are understand with this uh, exercise as well as the abstract noun what is abstract noun we learn that abstract noun describe feeling or thought something that can't see feel heard smell and touch these were our words are called abstract noun so students do this exercise and send it to me thank you have a nice day